Hello, today we're trying to show Sophistic um, for Grasshopper interface. Um, we have here example project by um, Studio OSC and Point One Studio together. Um, it's typical timber and steel structure single house project. Um, the construction is quite um, straightforward. And this project, I um, review the structural model in Revit, just to see the basic set of structural model, and also construct this structural analytical model in Grasshopper. Let's take a look the sophistic model in Grasshopper and Rhino and s the last update from Sophistic had this lovely um, component that we can set graphical um, model view for Rhino and also now it supports area load in Grasshopper components that we can convert those area, structural area and, and um, structural lines and we have now also uh, couplings and elastic couplings for uh, concrete structure. Okay, um, this model is fully parametric and all th the components are color coded um, and well organized. So, for example, foundation that we have foundation data structure and then that goes to um, the graphical interface then it converting to the um, uh, sophistic elements and finally we export teddy file in for the SSD workflow um, the model is quite straightforward as you can see and the parameter we use here, uh, we give two design options. So when we um, change the angle from deeper, then the loop structure is actually updating um, according to the angle. And of course, we can change the height of the building and also foundation structure. We can also change the um, spans. Um, and also um, different scheme and yeah, right loop we can also control the loop reach as well as the canopy direction of this, um, when it's different option, you can control this different um, capacity. So if I change to different option, then of course we can control the parameters from here. All right, so I'm going to the analyze this structural model now, eventually in SSD. And since these components are always up to date, our uh, file in the folder um, as you can see the time is exactly matching as soon as I change one of the parameter here then it will al always update the uh, so teddy file and in SSD we can load we can reference this teddy file from graph of so far and you can simply calculate the model There are two ignore its warnings exist in uh, road case number four, but these warnings are can be ignorable. So I'll analyze one more time linear analysis for the structure. And when I see the simulation, as you can see between sophistic structural model and grasp model 
is always same. For, for this video, I'm not analyzing, probably we analyze uh, wall and floor surface area. And maybe you can change some design here. So first of all, if I go to um, load case number four, as you can see, the number four in Grasshopper, I gave, I believe, um, here, which is horizontal uh, wind road. So in SSD, we can simulate the view. And, and load case number five is projection road on roof. And you can see the deformation. Of course, here I am used amplitude to to um, exaggerate the, the dis displacement of the uh, structure. And these material here and um, these cross sections are reference to our grasp model. So each line component, structural line components, they referencing the number of cross section from SSD. So if I double click on it, we can set different cross section according to the design code material. Okay, I'll quickly change one more time the design by um, probably manipulating loop, manipulate the, the uh, loop structure somehow yeah. here also and I'll change the angle of the house this time we go the angle to plus so we have um, different canopy in the middle of the building um, the direction of canopy are also change it from there and probably that one I'll put it in the middle this one also in the middle um, the option this is option one so the distance of the canopy can delivered in the middle part and the um, the division are reduce or even increase and let's see how st structure changed and also I gave the higher loop reach height uh, foundation depths I reduce it to 1.8 meter and that's our final script so in SOPI, SOPI uh, SSD we rewrote our structural model from Grasshopper and there are two load case number 4 and 4 is applied which is a little bit strange because here I gave number Num no road case number four and five. Um, for now, I'll disable road case number four and let's see only the projection road. Um, and SSD, I'll reload one more time. Road case number five comes correctly, and I'll analyze linear analysis. Now when we see the um, deformation, mm -hmm. and I'll exaggerate the deformation of it. And as I, as you can see, the cantilevered area is uh, quite <laughs> badly deformed. Of course, it's exaggeration of the deformation. And we can also see the rotation view. Yeah, 
So this structural analysis with Sophistic with graph for it's always up to date the geometry and it's fully parametric so um, structural engineers can quickly respond to architectural design. Now one last test that we enable these um, uh, floor surface and I'm going to assign um, the load on floor. Let's see that's load case number three on floor surface that goes to the number yeah, that's not three number three it's not load case number two yeah that goes correctly to floor surface and direction of minus one kilonewton to set the axis this time I also enable the uh, load case number four and let's see in SSD how it responds. So I'll reload the model. Yeah, load case number two comes correctly. The model. So period number two, load case two, it came only two, it came. I'll do linear analysis. Uh, yeah, there, here we go, we have number 2 and 4 and 5 all applied. So if I go number 2, I'll exaggerate a bit to see the big deformation. As you can see, our floor is deformed based on the structure. And number four, as you can see, if I exaggerate it, yeah, these foundations are deforming. And number five, of course, big deformation here. I will, um, Test also wall surface. Then we have interior wall and exterior wall that is set here, and uh, that load case apply from here. And let's take a look. And this load is goes to y direction. So that's ex that's the um, exterior wall interior the exterior load case to number three I would propose Oops. Yep, now it's applied and let's reload our model And I'll calculate our linear analysis. And you can see here the whole structure, how it behaves. So if I go number three here, as you can see, you can see the big deformation if I exaggerate. And um, you can see the result on windrows on area and here we can see one more time load case number five accordingly so it works quite well with the grasp component and um, in case we want to have more uh, complex calculation then we could actually disable the um, 
load case from Grasshopper and we could calculate here with um, sophistic uh, uh, only the geometrical mo geometrical model and then um, we could use sophi plus uh, sophisticated uh, te text task with with um, text script. Uh, sorry, this this is not okay. Here, text interface for load loads, and double click on that, and I could eventually copy my previous script example and um, when we calculate this load case then we can do one more time linear analysis based on this text input and you can finally finalize our uh, whole structure with the text input. We could also additional load, you can see here, and variable load, and all load combination. Nice. Thank you.